this is at the far tip of the north of the, uh, the calf, and it's con the names for it are quite contentious. Um, it's the dock. Um, if you call it the dock, you're not going to upset anybody, so I call it the dock. But some people call it Carey, uh, Careys, and some people call it Grants. And if you say Careys or Grants to the wrong person, there's a big argument. So best to just call it the dock. It's called the dock because if you can see the slots at the side, you can see one of them quite clearly. Now, in those slots, you drop when the tide was high, and it has to be a high tide to get into this dock. You can't do it in low tides. So when the tide is high and the boat is brought up inside, you drop wood down the slots. And when it's full up to the top, you've made a gateway or sort of a wall of wood. And the um, boat would remain floating in this side of it. Even though the tide had gone away, you could keep the boat floating. And um, I don't know really what the reason for that was, but um, um, some boats have a deep keel and you don't want to settle them on the, on the ground. So it also protects them from the weather. So if there's a big storm coming, you, you've got your boat floating in a nice little dock and well away from the weather. So it was a good idea. You've got two cranes. One is more obvious than the other. It's a stub of a cast iron and a small stub of um, cast iron down further. And that's, um, you'll see the odd ring bolt as well, where the, where the hoses would go. And that was for lifting stuff off and on boats. So it was quite, for the time, it was quite modern. Um, well, and we were talking something like 40 years after the end of the Napoleonic age, uh, so on the French Revolution. So for its time, it was very modern. And uh, when you go down there, you really feel you step back in time and nothing's been altered really, nothing's changed. And it's, it's a lovely place to be, to find somewhere you can go back to that's never been altered. It's lovely.